video games, women, homogenization, misogyny, objectification, representation, representation, underrepresented, sexualized, even demonized, underrepresented, not all us women look this way, big breasts, thin waists, big booties and eyes, fair skin, full lips, sex toys in disguise, her doesn't become her anymore, her becomes it, digitized but objectified. Even in the fantasy world of video games, her is not allowed to even be a her anymore when body parts are all that are seen. Let's look at Princess Peach from Mario Kart, a cartoon figure yet representative of the ideal beauty. Presented in long golden curls, a crown, blue eyes, light skin, a long pink dress, the damsel in distress. She was rarely ever given main roles. Instead, it was Mario and Luigi who did all the saving, or whose goal it was to save her. So what message does this give? That women need to always be saved and to do it have to dress modestly? Or let's take it a complete 180 with Laura Croft from Tomb Raider, who is portrayed as an over-exaggerated hourglass figure, skin-tight clothing. Sure, she may be fierce, badass, but it's beyond certain that most viewers are thinking, damn that ass. Before, look at those mad skills because she was purposely designed to dress like this, to look like this. And it gets even worse with the sorceress from Dragon's Crown, her breasts designed to look bigger than the top half of her body, her dress exposing her bare leg. And in the game, as she stands still, her breasts are made to move on their own while she is just standing. What about what she can do? What about what Joanna Dark from Perfect Dark can do, who has credible performance for training tests? yet also is portrayed in skin-tight clothing. Or Juliet Starling from Lollipop Chainsaw, main protagonist and cheerleader captain, a sports bra and short skirt, holding a chainsaw? What message does this give to women that to be in charge means that they have to be sexual? Why don't these women ever look different from each other? And different as in not light-skinned, not thin, not young? Princess Katana from Mortal Kombat is supposed to be 10,000 years old. Why does she still look like a young woman, with a leotard and chest opening, thigh-heeled boots? What does this say about older women in society? That they can't be capable or worthy enough to be the main badass character in skin-tight or barely any clothing? Sex. 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 It all comes down to sex, very subtly, but there. Anna, from Epic Battle Fantasy Series, is skilled in accuracy and healing spells, yet makes a reference to another character's breasts, saying that she wished hers were just as big. What kind of message does this give to women? Rainbow Mika from the Street Fighter series has a known move for slapping herself on the behind. This is telling women that they have to be sexual in order to be badass. Sex sells business. Women become business. Women become just sex. This plants more dangerous seeds in people's heads than most would think. A 1999 study by Bussy and Bandora found results that after the influence of video games, women had lost confidence to succeed in the real world, or thought that they are not measured by their intelligence, but by what's on the outside. Video games suggest sexualization over anything else. A study by Downs and Smith in 2005 confirms this, and an overrepresentation of whites as always the leading heroines. What about the women of color? Overrepresentation. Sexualization. This spreads wider than just video games. This is society. This is sexism. A survey explained by Dylan Thill shows how these aggressive and sexualized female characters fall into stereotypes, assumed by even those who don't play video games. Or Daunt in Tiggy Man's 2006 analysis that showed this type of beauty idealized expectation can even go so far as to turn into self-destruction and pathogenic eating diets. Aggression turns into sexualization. Being badass shouldn't just mean being sexual. Why can't the damsel in distress be badass too? Or the other way around? What about the little girl who grows up looking at these video games or putting herself in relationships with people who play these video games, who later ends up with an eating disorder and a poor self-image? What about the little girl who doesn't have fair skin, or is not thin, or who has a flat chest? Who else is going to tell her that she is more than just a status quo image? Who is going to tell her what, what these video, video games, games don't say? say?